my name is D Narayana Reddy. I am the chairman of the Council of Sex Education and Parenthood International and the president of the Indian Andropause Society. The subject matter of my talk today will be on the sexual behavior and sexual problems and concerns of the aging Indian population. The message that I would like people to take home is that contrary to the expected or popular belief that the elderly persons are active sexually and they would like to lead an active sexual life but they are concerned what the public and the family will think. And I have documented that by interviewing 2,071 people over a period of 15 years from 1990 to 2005. The reason why I chose the sexuality of the aging population is simple. India, the, due to advancement in medical facilities and technological advancement, the life expectancy of average Indian person has gone up from leaps and bounds. In the year 1950, the life expectancy of a male is 40 and that of a female is 38. In 2003, the life expectancy of a male has gone up to 63 and the woman to 65 and it is expected to touch 81 and 83 by the year 2015. That means a large chunk of population will be 50 and 60 plus in the coming years and unless we address these elderly people's concerns and healthcare planning has been done for these people, we won't be doing justice as healthcare professionals. Basically, I would like to stress on two things. The main problem in India, at least, is that people are in a transitory phase. Because we progress from a totally conservative society, uh, thanks to the ad uh, uh, advent of uh, India being ruled by the British. Now we are being exposed to the electronic media and we are bombarded from different messages from different sources to satellite channels. And that is confusing a lot of concern to the local population here. And we are neither here nor there. We are trying to understand the behavior changes happening in the advanced societies. At the same time, we would like to follow that, but we have been being held back by our conservative thinking. So that unless this conflict has been resolved, I don't think we'll really make a progress to handle the health care needs of the population. My suggestion is to promote quality sexual health education. I deliberately use the word sexual health simple. The moment we use three letter word SEX in India, people are up in arm thinking that we are trying to teach people how they should perform in the bedroom. When I use the word sexual health, I am promoting a positive aspect of health, not the concentrating only a narrow aspect of sexuality.